May God bless you all, Nancy Alfaro with you with Whip of Wisdom Ministries from Alana, Georgia. And today I bring a message called the God of Details. God of Details. And what do you mean by that, Nancy? Well, uh, the message is coming about a, a picture that I took. And actually, that's one of my pictures. And I want you to see, this is a little bee. We were on a tournament. And uh, as I was sitting, I saw this little bee and she was still sitting on a branch. And I snapped a picture and not knowing how beautiful she was. I put it on Facebook, didn't pay too much attention. I put it out there with all of my pictures. And then out of the sudden, some, one of my friends asked, is that real? And then I started observing the details on this little bee. It almost looked like an African mask, like with two eyes, the nose, the mouth. And I just started thinking and I said, gosh, that really got me. And um, I did a little bit of research and we have over 20,000 species of bees. And I just started thinking about the magnitude of that. And I say, if God took care of this bee and did all this beautiful detail on the design, how beautiful painted, like it was just beautiful design. And I, I was blessed enough to pay attention to God's creation on something that seems so insignificant from all the animals that we have, from all the beauty, all the problems in the world, all creation, but to see this be with such a detail, it really grabbed my spirit because it had me thinking how unique God is with each one of us. That made me reflect that if God can do something so beautiful and so special, how much more he can do for each one of us. And we know in the word, right? He says that if he take care of the birds, how much more he wouldn't take care of me. And sometimes when we go through trials, when we're going through difficult times, sometimes we feel forgotten. Sometimes, you know, I think it's one of the areas the enemy tries to get in your mind, like God doesn't care or nobody knows what you're going through, or what you're going through is not important enough to make it to heaven. Sometimes the enemy starts giving us this wrong thinking uh, where we feel insignificant, when we feel like not worthy enough. And I'm here to remind you that God is in every single detail of your life. He's a God that cares about the little details. And uh, so this sent me on a search in the Bible to search about that God of details. And I'm going to go through scripture today to remind you. I'm sure you have read them before, but I want to remind you that the God that we serve cares. So the first thing is that the God we serve knows how many hairs you have on your head. Yes, my beloved. It says on Luke 12, 6 and 7, it says, what is the price of five sparrows, two copper coins? Yet God does not forget a single one of them. And the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are most, more valuable to God than a whole flock of the sparrows. And here we see, right, what I was referring to before. Sparrows are birds. You are a lot more a lot more and see how he says that he knows he has your hair number i don't even know how many hairs i have on my head but god does and that shows you if he cares about numbering them about knowing them how much more wouldn't he care about everything that you're going through right now so i want you to think about that that God is on every step you take and that he designed all of your days. And we see that on the book of Psalm, if we go to Psalm uh, uh, 139, 16, let's read together what that says. It says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. 
every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. What this means, beloved, is that there's no surprises for God. Because God already knew about this day. God already knew about the problems that you're facing. As a matter of fact, he already knows everything in your life, even the things that are going to happen tomorrow. It says they're all recorded in his book. God has a diary where from the moment that you were designed in his mind, before you were even put on your mama's womb, he had already written everything about your life. So that problem that you're going through, that trial that seems so difficult is no surprise for God. He knows about it. He has made provision for it. And he already knows every day of your life. And let me tell you one thing. He saw the beginning and he saw the end. And when he looked at you, he said, I am very pleased with the life it's written for my beloved daughter or son. So hold on to that word that he knows everything about you. You know, among all the attributes that God has, one of them is that God is omniscient. What that means is that he knows everything. Nothing grabs God by surprise. We see that on 1 John 3.20 says, even if we feel guilty, God is greater than our feelings and he knows everything. So even when you think there is something that God does not know about, even if there is something, a feeling in you, something that, that, you know, he knows it all. He knows everything you feel, everything you think. There's nothing, nothing that can be hidden from him. And uh, do you know that also God has a plan for you? And that plan has been written before you were born? Yes, we see that on Jeremiah 1.5. It says, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as my prophet to the nations. These were the words that God said to Jeremiah. And, and see, he said, I knew you before I formed you. Beloved, let's think about that. I knew you before I formed you. So who is the one that puts you on your mama's womb? Who was the one that knew what, who needed to be your mom, who needed to be your dad, to have the right DNA, for you to have the right characteristics needed for you be able to conquer everything that life will throw at you? everything that the enemy will throw at you. God has given you everything that you needed. And he say, I thought of you. See, that's amazing to know that you were not a mistake. You were not a baby that was an oops moment. Mama and dad didn't know how to protect themselves. You were not a failure. You were not a, a rejection. No, beloved. You, my father, my heavenly father thought of you before he formed you in your mother's womb. That's powerful. Before you were born, he already said, I'm going to set you apart with a purpose. I'm going to set you apart with certain gifts. I'm going to set you apart to do great things for the kingdom of heaven. So beloved, you are not a mistake. You have been planned for you have been designed with everything needed for God to fulfill his plan. And his plans are good for you, says the word, that his plans are plans to give you hope in a future. And you got to believe that word, beloved. Do you know that God knows you by name? Yes. The Bible says on the book of Exodus 33, 12, let's read it together. And it says, Moses see the Lord's glory and he says, one day Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, take these people up to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me I know you by name and I look favorably on you. Beloved, this is um, Moses, right? And he's telling God, you have told me you know me by name. And you know what? That's one of the another attributes of God that he knows you. 
if he knew Moses, he knows you. Maybe you say, well, Moses was an important character in the Bible. You are too. You are too, beloved. If right now we will have the writers that we had in the Bible, I'm sure somebody will be writing the book of Nancy, the book of Mary, the book of Raisa, right? And it will be writing about all the things that you're doing today for God's glory. Beloved, he knows who you are. We see also on Exodus 33, 17 says, the Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked for I look favorable on you and I know you by name. Now this is God confirming what, what Moses had told him. Yes, I do know you by name. God knows who you are. He knows where you live. He knows everything about you, beloved. And that is a powerful thing. You know that God also knows what you think. Psalm 139.2 says, you know when I sit down or stand up, you know my thoughts even when I am far away. Beloved, he knows what you think even on those moments where you feel like you don't want to pray, you don't want to go to church, you don't want to sit through a Bible study, even on those moments where you don't feel like it, in the moments that you feel like you have drifted away from God. God knows everything. And beloved, when he knows all about you, it's not to accuse you, it's not to, to, to do none of that. It's more like, imagine him knowing every failure, him knowing every thought, he knowing every, those hidden places, he knows it all. And even like that, he shows you. He shows you with a purpose, with a mission. Don't forget that. Don't forget who you are in Christ. Don't forget that there is a lot more to what you're going through right now that God has prepared and his plans are good. Hold on to that. Psalm 139.4, it says, you know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. Isn't that amazing? Even before I speak, he knows it already. God knows everything that you need. Yes, beloved, he knows what you're going through. Matthew 6, 31, 32 says, so don't worry about this thing saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Beloved, there's nothing that you can come to the Father for that he doesn't have provision for already. Because he has the plan. He knew the moments that you were going to have a need. And he says that he is Jehovah, the one, uh, Jehovah Jireh, your provider. He is the one that knows everything that you need right now. He knows when you cry at night. He knows the things that hurt you. And he just wants you to come to him and talk to him about it. Get closer to your father. There is absolutely nothing that you can say to God that he, he will be offended by. Because he knows already your heart. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're going to say. But the most beautiful thing that God desires from you is to talk to him. Just like you desire your kids to come to you. Haven't happened to you that you know your kids have done something that goes against what you have taught them? You know when they're in trouble and they try to hide it. And all that you're waiting for is for them to come clean, to, for them to come to you and just tell you, mom, dad, I made a mistake, right? Our God is the same way. We got that from him that we want to know. We want that fellowship. We want that relationship. Because God wants to help you all the way. So beloved, come to him. He knows everything. Even what you do in secret. And I close up with this. On Ecclesiastes 12, 14, he says, God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. So beloved, don't run away from God. Don't run away from him thinking, you know, if God knew all the things I have done, he already know them. So my, you know, what I will say to you today, beloved, is God is a God of detail. He's a God that cares. He's a God that loves you. He's a God that wants to come closer to you. 
He wants you to trust him. Come to him just the way you are. Come to him with your pain, with your sorrow. Come to, you, to him with repentance, with love. Just tell him everything. Come naked in front of the presence of the Father. And let him be the one to help you through what you're going through. There's nothing God does not know. He knows everything, beloved. So I encourage you today to talk to your father, to your heavenly father. Tell him what you're going through. Tell him what you need from him. Tell him what, what is it that keeps you awake at night. And I promise you guys, that you will receive the comfort of God. I hope through this scripture, you can really feel how much God loves you, how much he wants to have fellowship with you. Don't isolate yourself. Don't run away from him. Come to the Father. He is the answer to everything that you're looking for. The answer to all your questions are found in his word, in his presence. So come to him. If this message has encouraged you today and you feel it's a blessing or can help somebody else, I invite you to subscribe to my channel in YouTube. Go to Whip of Wisdom, 30 Minutes with God. Go share this message with others. Somebody else need to hear that God is on every detail. So I hope I can see you next week and you can feel encouraged today to know that God cares. God bless you. See you next time.